What's up guys? It's the moment that I have been waiting for all week. I have been a good boy. I haven't pulled any of my shards for the Ungensa Tenex event. I hate that Plarium has been doing it for a while, but always when we have 2x7 for like Sacred or any specific shard, they need to put some crappy champion and only on the last day can the, can the true shard pullers get to do it. Now, maybe somebody finds a reason to use this champion. I mean, everybody thinks that Poison Cloud is cool on paper, but I don't think this champion is it unless there were some like specific circumstance with new mechanics and champions in the future. I certainly wouldn't pull for this one if you care about PvP because there's so much better uh, void champions obviously for PvP. <laughs> Noobs actually made a video I think yesterday about the like the top arena champions from last week, something that I often grow through my through in my streams because it's always when we talk about the meta I kind of it's kind of easy to refer to the last week's top 20 and look at that. And we're certainly seeing a lot more primals, less voids, and the meta is kind of different for classic arena and live arena. Kind of like Noobs pointed out on his video. Something like Sifi right now actually wasn't popular at all in top 30. Was there like one or two Sifi? So something like that. So Sifi could totally make a comeback, don't get me wrong. Even if you don't see Sifi right now in defense, Sifi is so good, she isn't still outdated that she could make a comeback. But right now she isn't really the thing. It's mostly like lockout or like m multiple lockouts and speed threats with like primals and that kind of stuff. You still use Marisk, but you can't go for damage mitigation and full style anymore. Because with George and Narcissus you can't you can't have any kind of tank team that can actually sustain through them when you have ridiculous multipliers and you either ignore the defense fully or ignore all of the passives. There's no way you can really get around that. And yeah, at this point, primals are more important. Apart from the couple like super big deal voids like Sifi or Maritska and even stuff like, you know, Shu Chen and Georgie and so on. Those can be in immensely powerful, but they are kind of account dependent. I mean, for Shu, Chen and Georgit, you usually use them together and you kind of need some kind of speed team. And of course there's Taras. I mean, Taras is never gonna go out of meta, just like Marichka. But pretty much a tree that I'm really looking forward to get. I, at this point, even like Yumeko and Warlord, are kind of getting outdated. I mean, Yumeko is still situationally very good because she doesn't do like hits and she has the um, A1 with turn meter decrease and the reflect on her hex. So she has some other additional utility. But uh, Galatir and Grixia are kind of the best lockouts at this point. I would rather have them, but if I <laughs> if I were to get a warlord, I wouldn't I wouldn't be sad about it. But really, it's like you know. Taras, Maritska, Sifi, that's pretty much what I want. Then there's multiple kind of um, good pulls, but that wouldn't be my preferred choice. Um, there's quite many boys these days, so it's a massive... If I were to get a legendary champion, it's a massive coin toss that it would actually be one of the good ones that I want to get. But hypothetically, I kind of have been feeling about it that we did have the Narcissus event lately, or not lately, but a while ago, a few months ago. I don't think we're gonna have another guaranteed void event anytime soon. But if I were to say uh, get the Taras Maritska or um, Sifi, I would probably start hoarding my voids and not um, not pulling on two axes. But I haven't been <laughs> I haven't been lucky enough to have that kind of RNG. But if I had like one of those champions that, well. I mostly mean like Sifi and Maritska, but I would take Taras too. It would make my defense team very good and um, I would be content with that. <laughs> kind of need like one strong champion in it, but really it, it would be Primus. That, that's what you that's what you really want at this point. Galatir or Quixia, that's what you need. Anyway, 50 shards is not Im immense amount, but 
maybe we can get multiple voids, who knows. <laughs> that has only happened to me once that I get uh I get more than more than one champion in hundred voids, and I think that was Cardial and Necrot, like two or three years ago. <laughs> I hope I hope we can repeat that and maybe we can get uh, I don't know, Sifi and Maritzka. Anyway, let me just <laughs> Double check that we have the guaranteed, or not guaranteed, but the increased chance on legendaries. Okay, let's go. Moment of truth. Come on, Aaron and Jesus. Please bless me. Just give me Marit Scars if you. I mean, Taras is good, but I, with Taras you also want Marit or Sifi or both of them, really. So I want to get him too, but without the other ones, I would rather have one of the supports. Come on, let's see some, some lightning. Oh, oh, ah, uh, Guardian, I, ah, 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 I already have a Guardian. Dude, I have so few boys, but I keep getting dupes. Ah. Uh, well, okay, we have still 30 shards, maybe we can get super lucky and get another one, but yeah. I only have a Cardial, he's never gonna be relevant in PvP, I don't think. He's good for Fire Knight, I don't care about Fire Knight, I can farm it if I want to. <laughs> I don't really want to farm Fire Knight because I need to farm Chaos Dust and other stuff. And if I had energy to waste, I probably at this point would farm Dragon for Speed Gear anyway. I have pretty good lethal. I'm never gonna be using Fire Knight, Fire Knight or Savage for anything apart from like Hydra, Hydra Filler sets or something like that. I have multiple multiple good enough like lethal sets as it is. Of course you always want to get more, but um, yeah. Where is my Attack Nook set? Oh yeah, on Wugong. Anyway, this is not gonna be... No, no, not gonna be improved by... Um, Savits anymore. My my lethal is gonna be better than that. I'm not gonna get like a full set of uh, guards with the right stats on Savits. And even if I did, it would be like as good as my <laughs> lethal set, pretty much. So yeah, that sucks. But maybe we can get lucky and get get a good boy. But again, most of the boys are not the ones that I want. So even if I were to say let like get five voids. It's pretty likely that I wouldn't get any of the or any of the ones that I really want. Okay, come on. Let's get multiple boys. Give me give me a good video for content ones. Let, let's see. Let's see a second legendary. Come on. Surely we can we can get a legendary in 30 voids, right? For sure. Come on, come on. Sifi and Rodos used to be the go-to duo partner, but at this point we already had the reign of Taras and Maritzka for years. But I still kind of kind of would want to get the Sifi for the Rodos combination. It can be pretty good. You, you're not gonna get stunned by Taras and other stuff. And it can still, like, situationally, people still use Rodos offense, even in the current meta in the top platinum arena. <laughs> Rodos is one of those things that the damage is so good and what he does is so good that you will always find a spot, but obviously UDK and Galatir are a massive issue for him. Come on. <laughs> Immense suspension. Come on, just come on, give me give me second one. Why not? Okay. I don't think, yeah, I don't think, I don't think we're gonna get any more than that. I can't complain about getting one, though. I think uh, at this point, like how many voids have I pulled? It, it was starting to be closer to the pit. Okay, so we got the Cardial. I already have one. It's in like crappy gear. I I don't really use him. It's some random set for um, Curse City that I wouldn't otherwise use. But I think it's a Faction Guardians upgrade. 
yeah, I'm not gonna empower him. I'll keep him for the faction guardians. Getting the 10 speed on all of the factions is a long, long term goal of mine. Not something that you can really do by grinding or with willpower. You either get lucky or spend spend <laughs> spend million euros to buy shards or if you don't then it's RNG if you get it. I have it on maybe like not half of the factions but on few factions. I have it on Undead, Dark Elves and um, oh Shadow King is pretty high. That's surprising. Or is it only three faction? Under Dark Elves and Banner Lords. That's the only factions I have completed the faction guardians on. On many factions I'm pretty close. I mean Sacred Order is now needs only one more and so does many others. <laughs> Except my Orgrin who is zero out of ten, but to be honest, I don't think Orgrin <laughs> at least for now, I'm sure there might be some better champions in the future, but Ogrin doesn't have like anything noteworthy in the faction anyway, so I don't really care. <laughs> care if I get get anything here or not. Like literally all of the champions I got, I, they're like all guaranteed champions anyway, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, you can't win every time. At least we got a faction guardians upgrade. I was actually, I was talking about this on video and disc discord mostly discord i guess it wasn't on a video it wasn't a stream but um i kind of wouldn't mind getting the falmon from the sacred sacred order faction i think it would actually be interesting to run this faction lord so maybe the maybe the 10 speed could be good here but falmon has like first of all he's a nuker he's not really a support so he's a nuker faction lord and he has the ability or i mean multiple things but if you have uh three allies meaning you need to have a full sacred order team it's not like him and two more all allies are immune to cooldown reduction effects or increasing effects however you want to say it but i guess i said it the wrong the first time but this obviously could be pretty good in classic arena Maybe not, again, maybe not for the big boys that are running like 460 speed Chu Chen and they can just outspeed people. I have to dodge all the lockout teams that I meet. I can't attack anybody of them because chances are that they are <laughs> faster than my 360 speed Armands. And I would totally try this strategy if I had him. So basically he would make your team immune to lockout and he would also be your main nuker. He has this... Um, this interesting thing that he actually has a good good A1 kind of like uh, so or like the A1 does the A3 in right conditions attacks one enemy before attacking removes all buffs from the target damage increases by 20% 20 per, 20 for each buff removed this actually has very high multiplier no ignore defense but it has very high raw damage and then um, where does it say There's so many effects. Oh yeah, it's on, it's on the third effect, so you like you need to have the full team. We'll attack all remaining enemies with any surplus damage if the initial target is killed. This attack cannot be cannot be critical if the initial target it's the second part. Just like Wukong. If the initial target survives, places a guaranteed fear debuff on all enemies for one turn. So it's basically Wukong or Seek from Nook that he does on A3, but on A1 also. We'll attack using the Burning Courage, which is the A3. Skill instead, if target is from Corrupted Alliance, so... And to, to be clear, like, Corrup Corrupted Alliance is this faction, so... Night Revenant, Under Dark Elves Demon Spawn, super common, we're gonna see a lot of them, so... It's pretty easy to... <laughs> even if it was just Knight Revenant, it's pretty easy to find Crixia, Angora or Narcissus to proc that skill on. Meaning that you're... Like, you're always gonna do... You, you have very high potential damage just on the A1, and you have a team that is immune to lockout. That's kind of interesting. Like, I was thinking this pretty far, that there's some champions in this faction that 
could synergize with him pretty well to actually make a faction lord team. And I happen to have all of the champions for this setup and Guardian would be one of them. So you would do good damage with the A3, but the A2 or the A1 would also proc A3. And obviously Guardian has, Guardian has ally attack and I guess crit damage buff and so on. So Guardian would be like a healer and it will just give him more damage. And it's kind of, it would have been hard to make make a team in Sacred Order in the past, but there's like no attack buff champions. Like, I think there's somebody, surely, yeah, like maybe, doesn't Frostbringer do attack buff? Yeah, you could maybe use like some epics, but there's no really good attack buff champions. And you kind of would want to have some kind of survivability or revive to make it really consistent. But you have both Rosgard and Nicholas here, which give you unkillable or block damage boss. And if you can't be locked out and you can use something like Rosgard, that's gonna make your offense team a lot more consistent. And you could even use mode for like revive and other utility, buff strip. The A2 is basically a buff strip that doesn't get polymorphed. And on A1 it gives you attack buff on your highest attack champion. So I feel like there would totally be ingredients to do do actually a Sacred Order team for Classic Arena meta, not for Live Arena, this is only like Classic Arena. I kind of want to try it, but I already had a card deal, I didn't really need a second one, and <laughs> the biggest obst obstacle is that I have basically all of the other champions for this team, I'll get more at some point, but I still need Falmond, which is the hardest one to get here, so we'll see about that, but I'm kind of, I might consider just pulling for a Falmon when, when there's an event for him in the future. I didn't really think about it the previous times, but now I'm kind of far warming up to it that I kind of want to try it. But this would be purely for classic arena offense. It would be completely useless in live arena. Something like Sifi or Maritzka, especially Sifi, would have been super good in live arena. Anyway, there's some... <laughs> There's some food for thought, maybe if you have those champions, you, you might consider trying this setup and heating me up afterwards, how it goes to you. I mean, maybe you could run Cupidus and Venus in this, but I don't feel like you even need to run them. You could run something like Errol or Phoenix as the second nuker. But I think you probably could just run Falmond as the only nuker and have a full team of supporting him, but can't really try it. I would try it if I had Falmon, but yeah. Anyway, that's it for my shard pulls. Good luck with yours if you didn't pull yet. I think a lot of people, a lot of people kind of got chipated like by Plarium and already pulled on Friday and Saturday, even though they don't really care about the Uknesa or whatever she is called. The name is so hard, I, I have no idea how Americans would say this name. Unkensa. That, that's how I would say it in Finnish. Unkensa. Looks very cool, but yeah, I wasn't gonna pull for her. Anyway, that's it for my shard pulling video today. Good luck with your own stuff and see ya.